What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. So let's take some time to talk about Binance, talk about Terra Luna Classic and the Burns. Um, I've talked about Burns plenty of times before that maybe some people are kind of tired of me talking about it, but I feel like it's the single most important thing that we could have to getting the overall chain back to normal, everything back to um, what we once knew it to be. Um, so when we talk about Binance's Burns, um, we want to make sure that you know, they're doing their part and doing any type of burns is absolutely amazing. And people have pointed that out and said, what Binance is doing, they don't have to do. You're right. They don't have to do it. <clears throat> but to be honest, what they have burned, they might as well not have done anything, right? Because the level that they can burn versus the level that they are burning is a little ridiculous, right? Because um, people are not willing to pay um, any type of fee. So they have a 0.1% fee that goes through margin trading and spot trading. Um, and a lot of people are going the free route, which is understandable. You know, they, they go this free route because it's available. Now, if it wasn't available, they would go the other route. There would be no volume change. We wouldn't see people that are just not deciding to buy on Binance. No, they're buying on Binance because of the, um, the free fee. So, you know, they're not buying on KuCoin, they're not buying on Gate.io, whatever platform, because it's it's free to do it over here. Um, and more and more people are doing it. So as we see the weeks go by, we started out with a 5.6, I believe, 5.6 billion burn within a week, you know, looking at actually it was only four days. Then you saw Binance convert, and within seven days, we burned less. We burned like four, 4 billion or something. And then... Um, we went to a point where we burned three billion, and we burned two billion. Now we're burning less than two billion. So um, obviously, we can look at it and say that Binance Convert is getting more and more popular. So what's going to happen with these Binance burns? Because CZ has actually said in the past that this is not going to be forever. Um, it's going to go on for the foreseeable future. Um, <clears throat> so if you're looking at the next month, you can understand where Terra Luna Classic will be, but the month after that, you may not know where Terra Luna Classic is going to be. That's not what's, we can't see what's going to happen within that future, right? We are guessing what's going to happen within that. We can understand what's going to happen at the end of this month <clears throat> or the beginning of next month where they have the burns, but maybe that next month where we're like, um, all right, the burns aren't really that high and people aren't really that bullish on burns or not talking about it on Twitter as much. That's when you'll see things start to dial back. So I want to talk about this and give you my explanation as to why I believe that Binance will stop the burn um, sooner than we think. And I mean, it it's great to be able to see that and it gets a lot of traction on Twitter. <clears throat> but I feel as though once they gather the amount of people that they want to gather onto their platform, um, I feel like they're just going to kind of slowly transition out of this burn because again, they're giving up whatever fees they are getting, um, which is minimal at this point. So anyways, guys, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell for more videos like this one. Also, make sure you guys check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel. And if you guys want to follow me on Twitter, definitely follow me on Twitter at Perry8K. Don't forget about my Patreon. The link is in the description, which we have a lot of stuff that's over there. You can check out all the videos, all the archived videos, all of the different posts that we have, different investments that we made, all that different type of stuff. But anyways, let's talk about Binance. So I have uh, Lunar Penguins up here, and you're going to see that Binance is the biggest burner, right? You're looking at $13.7 billion. <clears throat> that has uh, burned off. If the 1.2% was still 1.2%, I guarantee we would have burned off more than the Binance burn at this point because we're still seeing a lot more volume or now we're seeing a lot more volume in Terra Station because of the fact that we have fear within CEXs. And no one could have predicted that, but I didn't think 0.2% was really the right thing. However, we understand certain dApps wouldn't be able to create, wouldn't be able to uh, go through their standard operations and see all the transactions um, that go through. We understand that certain ones. I don't know which ones, but certain ones. Um, <clears throat> so again, Binance is at 13.7 billion. Now, 13.7 billion compared to the 7 trillion that we have in total supply, um, you know, that's basically nothing. Um, I'm not saying that we shouldn't appreciate what they are doing because we do appreciate any type of burns. The problem is, is that we went from being um, at this level where we're like, 
we are boycotting Binance if we don't get the 1.2% burn, they were going to offer it. And then they decided to backtrack and say, this is a better option. We can burn way more. No, you can't. You can burn way less. If you had 25% of your overall volume um, or overall investors decide to invest um, or uh, opt into this overall um, uh, burn rate, the 1.2% burn rate, it would have burned way more than what this is burning. <clears throat> so to say that this is better, my idea, and I thought that this was a a good situation and it could have worked if it wasn't for the free option, the free opportunity to buy Terra Luna Classic and get more investors on their platform versus others. So right now they're in the process. They're in this process of uh, getting more and more investors on their platform <clears throat> via this free option. And um, yes, you're seeing some people go through margin trading, spot trading. That's how they know to trade cryptocurrency and they don't really trust any other option to swap for something else um <clears throat> and what people may be doing is paying fees to get whatever they're getting so busd or bnb and swapping it for lunic for free um so it's giving them uh the better end of the stick <clears throat> to where um, they're getting all of the different users, and then eventually when they stop getting the amount of users um, that they expect to get, they will start to dial it back. Not just saying like, oh, we'll decrease the uh, burn tax, because the burn tax is already 0.1%. Uh, but what they will do is they'll start to push it out. And I predicted this from the beginning, is that they're going to do it over the week, and they're going to start to push it out to the month. Then they're going to start to push it out to the quarter. And then people are going to start to forget about the burn even happening, because the 1.2% burn or the 0.2% burn with IBC and maybe even, um, you know, uh, the buy button on Terra Station, all these different things could create a little bit more volume and surpass Binance. But will it be by a hell of a lot? Uh, who knows? Depends how much volume we end up seeing there. And I hope we see a lot of volume. Um, so what they're going to do is basically say, oh, well, you know what? We, it's not really necessary to burn at this point. And if they get questioned about it, they're just going to ignore it because it's not going to be uh, as many people talking about it if you have so much space between burns. The more space you have, the more that people forget. You know, And that's what I believe they're hoping for. Now, this is all speculation. I'm not going to say that I'm absolutely right. This is all speculation. But I feel as though Binance is going to make those moves maybe in the next quarter or so where you see in the next couple of months to where they are burning. Maybe there's not as much traction because uh, during this burn, I have a feeling they're going to burn less than we think. And a lot of people are like, hey, you know, they're going to burn 8 billion, 10 billion. And if they come back with three or 4 billion, that's where people are going to be like, ah, oh, really? In a month? Uh, so... I hope that we see so much more that burns and we see a continuation of this and we see people pressure them during to say, Binance, when are you burning? We need burns and keep the, the pressure alive. Because if that, if that pressure goes away, um, if the popularity of these burns goes away, they're going to stop burning, right? Because as, as long as they're gaining new users, they will keep burning. If they're not gaining new users, they will not burn, right? So they're going to stop it. Anyways, guys. I'm hopeful um, for the future. I want to see nothing but success for this overall chain, for the project. I've been in it from the beginning, and um, you know, I'm I'm hopeful that everybody will make their gains as well as create long term wealth and just an opportunity of being part of something huge. Uh, anyways, guys, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more videos like this one. Also, make sure you check out the links down below. I'm gonna get out of here, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.